If you want to improve as a football player, you'll also have to be ready to change a few things. But actually, you don't necessarily need big changes to improve a lot. Because sometimes, it's enough to simply adjust a few things to see huge improvements. And if that sounds good, stay with me and let's get started. The first adjustment we'll take a look at is your last touch before you shoot. And basically, that touch decides how well you set yourself up for the shot. And since you'll most likely be under some sort of pressure when you shoot, setting yourself up the best way possible is absolutely vital. Now, if your touch is too long and the ball is too far away from your body, you'll most likely be out of balance and overcompensate to make sure you actually hit the ball. What then often happens is that you get too far under the ball or go too much to the side, meaning that, well, your shot will suck. So making sure to take a shorter last touch will help you keep your balance and hopefully get some better shots away. And the more you train this, the better you'll be at popping a shot off quickly with only a small touch and a small run-up. The next adjustment comes when you're about to receive a pass. And you might have heard it before, but doing a small fake run before receiving the pass is Alpha Omega. Now, doing a fake run where you run in one direction before the pass comes, only then to turn around and run into the pass, will do two things. One is obviously fooling the defender, but the other is to make sure that you're on your toes and moving when the pass comes. And that's important. Being ready when you get a pass is as important as the pass itself. More or less. And if you're on your toes, the chances of making a good first touch and losing your opponent is a bit higher. Just make sure that you use your acceleration during the fake run to give yourself a bit of momentum over the defender. And you should be golden. Then there's passing, which is a pretty big topic where you can change a lot of things. But one quick adjustment that's very easy to work with is working on your first time passing. Specifically, the kind of bumpy ones that skip a little off the ground so you hit them in the air. Now, they can be a bit tricky to keep down, but if you give it a bit of backspin, it'll stay relatively low. And the key here is to attack the ball from the top and follow through downwards with your foot almost like a stomping motion, meaning that you'll create some backspin as you hit the ball on the top and drag the foot down behind it. Now, this is not to be confused with slicing the ball where you attack the ball low. Attack it high and downwards and you'll see the backspin. It's pretty easy actually. And the last adjustment you can make is when it comes to dribbling. Now, it's something as simple as teaching yourself to always use a change of pace. And if you look at some of the best dribblers in the world, you'll see how they slow down when they're close to the defender. And then when the defender commits and sticks out a foot, the dribbler quickly accelerates away. But it's important that you realize that it's not slowing down that will do the trick in itself, but the acceleration and the change of pace that makes the difference. Of course, you can do the Neymar version where he stands completely still and then explodes away. But in my opinion, that's maybe a bit too over-exaggerated. However, that little burst of speed means that you have the momentum. And since the defender can only react, you'll always be a split second ahead to create that vital space. And that's what you want. One second. So... That was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and got some tips on how you can make a huge improvement with only a few small adjustments. But hey, remember to go grab your new boots in the link to Unisport in the corner of the screen. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe with the bell notifications turned on to never miss any of our videos in the future. Also, you should consider checking out the playlist in the bottom of your screen if you're interested in becoming an even better footballer. And with those words, I'll be signing off. Cheerio.